Henry Spencer Moore was an English artist born in 1898 and died in 1986. He is best known for his semi-abstract monumental bronze sculptures which are located around the world as public works of art. He was inspired by the shapes found in natural objects such as bones, skulls, rocks, stones, shells and wood. Today I'm going to show you how to draw oval with points made in 1968 to 70. Firstly, when we're drawing anything that's 3D, we need to understand how to show that it's 3D. So here you can see I'm filling in a circle with straight lines. The circle next to it, I begin with a straight line and then I start to curve the line towards the outer edge. Now this curved line is going to make that circle appear more like a sphere. So it's going to make it look more 3D. So compare the one on the left, that's not 3D, Compare the one on the right, that is 3D. We're going to be using a pen today to draw our sculpture, so we need to start understanding what our pen can do through mark making. So here I'm cross hatching, and the more I go over in different directions, the darker the cross hatching is going to appear. So this is going to look like tone. I can also try and experiment with different types of marks as well. So you could use straight lines or kind of scribbled lines, cross hatch over the scribbled lines, and all of these are going to create different effects with the pen. Anyone that's been taught by me will know that I really like to present the page with brown paper. So here I've just used some old wrapping paper that I've turned over and glued it down making sure the edges are nice and straight to the edge of the page but the area in the middle of the page is ripped. I've also created a nice balance by adding it to the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner. To add a border around the page you need to use your ruler to measure one centimetre from the edge of the page in one point and then make sure that you measure one centimetre again in another point. If you only measure in one point, you could end up having a wonky line. Once you've got those two points, then join those two dots together and repeat all the way around the page. Next, divide the page into half. So half of it will be writing and the other half for your drawing. Always refer to the original image and use a pencil to lightly map out where you're going to be drawing. Make sure you fill up that space and you haven't got too much negative space around your drawing of the sculpture. So to add tone and mark making, I'm constantly referring back to the original image and I'm making sure that the direction of my marks work in harmony with the sculpture. So if I'm working around a corner, then also my mark making will flow around that corner as well. So here I'm starting to cross hatch over to show the darkest areas, and then any areas that are light, I leave completely blank. The best way to show lighter tones is to not touch the paper at all. And another useful tip is to make sure you're not outlining heavy, dark outlines, especially on the lightest area of the sculpture. What you're aiming for is a high contrast sketch with appropriate mark making that shows off the curves, contours and surface quality of the sculpture. Don't forget to add the title and the date of the piece above your drawing. 